Hello, good evening. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets from a intermarket analysis perspective. As always, please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and Updates from Market uh, Signals and Market Updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com, and you can download the app at the uh, Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay. Now, in terms of uh, market movements thus far, or should we say today? certainly has been circumspect in terms of the market movements now we had the Asian markets relatively or generally higher with the Nikkei and uh, Shanghai certainly higher today in terms of the European markets it certainly has been um, impressive from the German perspective but not so much the rest now let's uh, let's just look at the actual stats here now the uh, German DAX finishing higher up almost 140 points uh, approach that 12,000 level the French CAC up 23, the IBEX stocks and FTSE MIB higher as well, but the FTSE 100 down 25 points. Now that's mainly due to HSB earnings certainly missing the mark and uh, Mr. Carney uh, certainly overall, his uh, although he did have uh, uh, dovish tones, but overall it was interpreted as hawkish, sending sterling higher, which in turn obviously exerted further pressure on the FTSE 100. Okay, now <clears throat> the German DAX certainly helped by stronger PMI data. Uh, the French uh, CAC certainly uh, under pressure due to Le Pen and political uncertainty within the country. And really, from my perspective, the focus remains on uh, the uh, political uncertainty. Now, uh, apparently, the latest poll has Miss uh, Le Pen potentially winning not only the first round but the second round as well, which again is a ne negative. Hence, the reason why the euro has been under immense pressure. Now, the German DAX certainly helped by a weaker euro. So certainly don't forget that aspect of uh, the uh, the trading relationship in terms of exports. Okay, so very very important in terms of the. Um, the actual uh, euro stocks and the uh, the French CAC certainly benefiting from a uh, German strength, but can that last? That's the question. Okay, can that last? In terms of the uh, economic data for the uh, going into the U.S. session, Mr. Kashkari is certainly hawkish. Uh, GDT price auction, the uh, global dairy auction, certainly weaker, and U.S. data certainly came in on the weakest. A weaker side as well, so certainly uh, a risk aversion trade there in play. Okay, now. Where do we go next? Okay, let's look at the actual technical picture where we ended. Now, we start off with the German DAX. The German DAX, very stellar. I mean, look at that gap lower. Uh, for Monday's uh, trading, we have had a gap. And we've uh, bounced from 11,700 up to 11,970. Very, very impressive. 60-minute chart, you can see that we're certainly breaking out here in terms of the uh, resistance zone. Uh, if you do retest, and you are looking at 11,850 and 11,890 as potential support for the German DAX. Weekly chart, certainly impressive as well. We are now touching this key resistance around the 11,900, around 12,000. If you break through there, then the next level is 12,360. Daily chart of the German DAX, certainly breaking out of uh, the key resistance zone here, certainly leaving behind a gap. Okay, just bear that in mind. Next potential resistance now is seen at 12,050. So if the rally continues, 12,050 certainly is next and is inevitable. Uh, again, like I said, the onus really will be on Le Pen and the the fears and concerns that emanate from there. Again, the 60-minute German Jack certainly rallying. Uh, it certainly seems like uh, uh, money flow is going towards the German index as opposed to the uh, the French CAC and the rest of the periphery, given the fact that it's probably deemed as a potential safe haven. So certainly remember that angle as well in terms of uh, trading the German DAX. Okay, now let's move on to the French CAC. Again, the French CAC on the daily chart, all out bearish from my perspective. It was just a, a bearish inside bar, when, whereas you had the German DAX breaking higher. So given the fact that the uh, equity index isn't following its pairs, it's certainly a negative sign. You have the unfilled gap on the daily chart on the French CAC. At 4830, that certainly is my target. The downside currently short at present. Double top certainly confirmed now, looking for a lower high. Going over to the 60 minute chart, you're taking the pivot high to pivot low. You are into that FIB 61%, where we've previously obviously uh, negated, where previous support equals resistance. That's exactly where we got to 4899, and we've sub subsequently reversed. Now, my, from my perspective, we're going back down to that 4850 zone below. And if the market continues, you're looking at a gap fill at 4830. So that certainly remains the aim. Like I said, with Miss Le Pen's news of her potentially winning the second round, certainly doesn't bode well for the uh, French economy going forward. So bear that in mind. Okay, so buy is certainly negative from my perspective. Again, horizontal sort of resistance. Certainly looking for a flush here 
on the French CAC, so bear that in mind, okay? In terms of the FTSE 100, let's bring up the chart for the FTSE 100 here. A daily chart after yesterday's doji. Today was obviously the uh, FTSE was certainly hammered due to the fact of Mr. Carney, uh, potentially uh, overall net-net, a potential uh, hawkish slant, neutral stroke hawkish, and uh, that certainly has been helping Sterling, and not to mention HSBC earnings certainly hurting uh, and hampering the uh, FTSE's ability to rise, so bear that in mind. Even though oil prices certainly pushed higher, I mean, we certainly are higher in terms of oil, if I bring up a chart of oil for you. Copper gold, here we go. Okay, so oil prices certainly pushing higher on, but now are into resistance, bear that in mind. You still have gap fill, I and mean, we've almost closed that gap now. Your gap fills around 55, certainly closed. And you are looking at resistance or here at our present. Okay, let's go to the 10 minute chart on the FTSE 100. Okay, so uh, this is the uh, crude oil. Sorry, this is a crude oil chart. Let's just go to the FTSE here. Okay, here we go. Going to the 60 minute chart first of all. Okay, so you're looking at bear flag formation. So looking at consolidation here before we actually flush lower. And that's exactly what we've done. The next potential support really is seen at 7260. So watch out for 7260 in the downside. 10 minute chart as well, certainly holding resistance at the 7297 and looking for a flush, and that's exactly what we've got. 7277 uh, certainly is support, and then obviously 7270 certainly have bounced off the after hours. And you are really looking at 7250. If you can get a flush in the US markets, that should certainly follow through into European equities. So that's what I am expecting at present. In terms of the Euro stocks, let's just go over the Euro stocks. Okay, you're going over to the daily chart. You can clearly see you're under that horizontal resistance on the uh, euro socks. Certainly a potential double top scenario. 60 minute chart, you're into horizontal resistance. And then we move down to 10 minute chart. Okay, so you're looking at uh, potential resistance below. Previous resistance equals support here. And then you have horizontal support here. So you're looking at uh, 3315 and 3300 on the downside so certainly watch out for that okay so that certainly is a summation and we're certainly uh, conclude here uh, in terms of the bias from my understanding european uh, equities certainly looking for a bearish bias due to the french political uncertainty even though stronger pmi data certainly is helping sentiment but bear in mind stronger eu data generally indicates a hawkish uh, uh, draghi and a hawkish ECB, which in turn obviously causes the uh, a stimulus certainly to be paired back, okay? And you are looking at risk aversion if there's less stimulus in the Eurozone, okay? On that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus. Goodbye now.